of how the Renaissance and thereafter. Why not deal with the art? During the two centuries gave me a chance to uh, bridge the gap to a certain extent between what uh, I thought the Mets should have been doing from day one. People like Romeo Bearden, Benny Andrews were out protesting as well as people from the community because it was not reflective of Harlem. Why are museums so resistant to opening their doors to artists of color, and particularly African-American artists? For the first time perhaps ever, I think people really started to think of their museums as being their museums, as belonging to them in a different way. Faith Ringgold was a prime agitator in this time period. She was protesting at the Whitney, protesting at the Met, protesting all around the city. We are black, but we are equals. I believe thoroughly and completely in freedom of speech. And no one's going to change that. I just stay out till I get in. I met Faith Ringgold when I was in graduate school at Syracuse. And what I heard was this, that she had gone to the Studio Museum in Harlem and tried to get a show. And um, Studio Museum did not give her a show. Um, for whatever reason, there weren't a lot of women back in those days who were getting um, solo exhibitions at the museum. And she had all these big paintings. She was couldn't get shown uh, in New York. And so she started doing these um, soft sculptures. And she would take the soft sculptures and she would lecture on women artists, not only black women artists, but on women artists in general. Because she understood that it wasn't just an issue about black artists, it was an issue of gender as, as well as race. I was not invited to sit down with the men who were in the struggle with me. I realized I was really doing the right thing by becoming a feminist and trying to start a feminist movement in the art world. Faith Ringgold is an artist who hasn't received the recognition she deserves, in part because of the form that she decided to use, but also because of just how incendiary her political style was, her paintings in particular. Her political work also had such an invective that some places weren't willing to be that radical. I did what I wanted to do and uh, paid the price. I think it's also partly that she is extremely courageous, ahead of her time, very fierce in her work, loving in her work. She doesn't accept anyone else's leadership about how art should be, which by the way, I think is what it means to be an artist. One of the great American artists, Richard Mayhew, was